I love cream blushes. Here's my favorite. I guess I'll start with the absolute cheapest, and it is $1. It's AOA, it is from Shop Masse, and literally this is a dollar. I actually think that this is a very good blush. It's pretty pigmented. I was actually really surprised by this. I'm going to be wiping my hand a lot in this. <laughs> The next ones are from ColourPop. These are the blush sticks. These are surprisingly creamy. When I first got them, I kind of thought they were going to be way too dry because they have to stay in a stick form. It has to obviously be a certain amount of dryness to stay in that stick form. But honestly, they're extremely creamy. They go on easily. They blend out easily. I've enjoyed using these so many times. I would highly recommend these if you want more inexpensive cream in a stick form. Milani's cream blushes, I think they're called Cheek Kiss. Yeah, Cheek Kiss blushes are probably my all-time favorite, especially for drugstore. My favorite one is Nude Kiss. I've worn this so many times. I have put it on in so many videos. You probably are so tired of hearing me talk about this, but it is absolutely one of my favorite ones. Just recently, I got two more in Blushing Berry, which is this one, oops, this one, and Merlot Moment is this one. And these are also very beautiful. Same formula, just so pretty. The Milani ones are by far my most favorite of the drugstore. Okay, Liz, it's sold at Sephora, but it's not as expensive. And this is Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush in the color Confident. I love this color. It is just so pretty. I love how big the pan is. It goes on easily and Love it. Love, love, love this color. You can kind of see this is my favorite color because they're all kind of the same. Okay, another one that is considered high end, but it's probably on the low end of the high end is the Tower 28. This is in the color Magic Hour, and I will say the packaging's hard to open, but this is such a pretty, pretty blush. It goes on easily, blends out easily, and stays on. Okay, Stila Gerbera is one of my favorite ones. This is more of a pink one, and I've used this so many times. I love this one. Again, blends out wonderfully. Laura Geller has one that I have loved. It's called Forever Peach. And again, you can see kind of a theme with my colors. <laughs> It's just such a pretty color. I do like a peachy color on my cheeks. I just think that looks the most pleasing on me. So everyone has their tints and their colors that look the best. I kind of shy away from too pink and go more on the peachy side. This is kind of newer to me, but I've used it quite a few times. And it's definitely more of like an orangey peach, if that makes sense but it's so pretty. Okay, MAC has ones that are just so much fun. It's called Glow Play Blush. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's almost like it's a moussey bounce. I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I love the So Natural one and also Cheer Up, and you can see Cheer Up I've used a lot. Both of these are just such pretty ones. I would say this is the drier of all the formulas. So natural one I wear if I want a, a no makeup makeup look and I just want to have a hint of color on my cheeks, this is the one I will wear. It's just that perfect color. It barely shows up. I'm a little tanned right now. I don't know if it would even show up in this, but if I'm on my paler side and I'm not as tanned, this is the one I will go for. Two newer ones to me and I am loving this. This one is from Tarte. Ah, there goes my glasses and it's stuck in my hair. Okay, this is from Tarte. It is their Man Eater Blush and Glow Cheek Plump in the color Buff. Different kind, it's more of like a liquid. It goes on really, really easily and blends out just so easily and just gives you that blush of color that all over, oh, I just love this one. This is kind of one of those you can't screw it up kind of blushes. You just can't screw it up. It, it goes on, it's beautiful, it looks good every time. To me, this is worth the money. 
Another one that I believe is worth the money, and I am wearing this one today, and it is the Charlotte Tilbury's Pink Gasm. But I even love the delivery of it. And usually I don't like these kind of things, but it's in a sponge kind of thing, and you literally can just put it on your cheek and then rub it out. It just looks pretty. This one I like because it gives it kind of a glow. I mean, it's a lot of glow. So I didn't add any highlighter or anything. It just has that glow and that glow lasts all day. And it's not glittery, so it's just, it's pretty. Let me show you my favorite ways of applying a cream blush. I'll go on the cheaper up to the more expensive ones. First would be ELF's Dome Stipple Brush. A stipple means that it's got bristles down here that are a little bit thick, and then these are much more sparse at the top and it disperses things evenly. The other kind of stipple brush I like is from Eco Tools, and it's the same thing as you can see. It's really dense here, and then lighter up here, longer ones, but not as many. And it just distributes it so well. This is the one I use today, and just taking it, let me show, let me put a little bit more on so you guys can see. Okay, so like that, I'm going to be very glowy. I'm very glowy now. <laughs> Get a little bit more on this side. Okay. But it just works so well for a cream kind of blush. The other one I like is the BK Beauty 106 brush. This is not a stipple brush. This is like a normal brush. It's pretty packed in there, but it's got movement to it. I used it today for my bronzer. They also use this for a foundation and pretty much any foundation brush you could also use for a cream product because they're made for cream products. Don't forget, if you go too much with a cream product, you can always just take your sponge that you used or a wet sponge and it will just kind of distribute it more. I also would highly recommend using the stands out sponge. This is works just so good to kind of just distribute things and make it look a little bit softer. So this has been a, a find. I love this thing. So blushes are pretty easy to apply, but sometimes foundation can have its issues. So I did a video all about mistakes to avoid when applying foundation. And I'm going to link that one right here. It might be beneficial to you. I'll see you maybe in that one or another one. God bless.